guys, thank you once again for coming out here today. We really do appreciate you. Thank you so much for your massive, huge, and continuous support to this channel. We really, really do appreciate you. It means a lot to us. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in everything you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, my people, we've got you covered with authentic and reliable happenings in our country. The one we've got today is from INEC. INEC has got a final word for a do governorship election as the day draws close. We've got all of those details and, if, and this is very, is, is, is very important to Edo State and uh, Edo Light as well. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment, guys. Once again, guys, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, please do give us a thumbs up. Hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you, my people. Yes, let's just get straight into the news and get all of the details. INEC makes final decision on voters' registration for a Doe governorship election. In preparation for the September governorship election in a Doe state, the Resident Electoral Commission of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the state, Dr. Johnson Alalibo Samikem, and made it known that a total permanent voters' card being collected is 1,735,910. While speaking to newsmen of Daily Post after a closed-door meeting in Benin City, the state capital, Dr. Sami Kem said the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security Meeting with heads of the various security agencies in the state was necessary as part of ways to synergize. While analyzing the total number of permanent voters' card collected so far, he said the INEC will make use of the 2019 election register in the upcoming Edo state governorship election. For now, the commission is not interested in observing any voter registration. We will be making use of the data from the 2019 register, he said. The REC also advised an appeal to the people of Edo state not to see the governorship election as a do-or-die exercise which he sees as the foundation of election violence. Election is not a do-or-die exercise. Edo people should come out and cast their votes for their choice. It should be remembered that there is still life after election. So as a commission, we expect that the voters show level of comfort in a manner that speaks positively, he added. So, my people, we know um, as this um, Edo governorship election is coming very close, I know there are a lot of agitations, there are a lot of concerns. The other day, INEC, um, no, INEC has been coming up with updates. Um, just before today, INEC stated as well, uh, um, stated their concerns regarding Edo governorship election and stated that um, they don't understand right now, you know, between the, the main uh, opposition parties is um, the PDP um, against um, the ruling All Progressive Congress. And we know lately, because of the campaign committee that was set up in Edo State for these two parties, it's been like um, a war of words and uh, online they've been um, exchanging words. The two um, campaign heads, we know them very well. The person of um, Governor Ganduje, who is heading the APC campaign uh, um, committee, and also that of um, PDP, who is the governor, um, the person of um, Neisom Wike. And they've been exchanging words. One is saying that I will isolate you. The one is stating this and that. And I like they are li a little bit concerned that what is really going on, that this is not um, what election is all about. And I came like, um, on that um, their, their, their previous memo stated that I don't like to remember that election is a time for um, the, the, the indigenous to choose their leader and I mean that really stood out for me because it's not what um, they are taking it to or the level that they are taking it to it's not about um, fights like even it's been said now that the wreck is mentioning that it's not a do or die affair and desperation should not be brought in at all. It is a time, so because in all of this, we are not uh, they are not even talking about the people at Do Light. They are the main people who this election is really for. They are the ones casting the votes. It's not the candidates that are, that are stating or that are voting. Um, the indigents are the people casting their vote for, for the candidates. So, I mean, guys, so it looks like um, a lot of people are ag agitated. I'm just worrying how this will look like. So beforehand, INEC, they're already putting everything in place. They're doing all that they can do. 
right now. They've stated that they are meeting with all the security agencies to ensure that um, they, they form a synergy and they work together that um, the election will be peaceful and violent free. Now, sometimes there is this do or die attitude that brings violence in election. That if they put away such um, such mindset and such um, belief, even amongst the candidates, the participants, and those officiating, and even those that are going to vote, if they put away this do or die um, uh, attitude, then at the end of the day, uh, those states will have a peaceful election. So, my people. Ineck, in another way, again, they're expressing their concern. This is the second time they're expressing their concern. I don't know why they are saying all of this. I don't know if they can really, if they, if they are seeing something that we are not seeing. Like I said, it was Festus Okoye that um, stated that one in the first um, place. That was yesterday. That um, he's got some concerns about this Edo governorship election, the way it is going between these two parties. And we know um, the incumbent governor, the person of... Uh, Godwin Obaseki is also um on this race as well coming on the second term and we know being the incumbent governor he's got um, some level of popularity so we don't know because uh, you know he's decamping he left um APC the All Progressive Congress and one would think that um as soon as he decamp from um APC to PDP that will be the end but it looks like um APC they are not ready to give up um they are doing all that they can and everyone is um trying to to do what they can the shocker we got yesterday Today, guys i don't know if you have uh, saw that news here at uh, peak network we did report it where the video of the the head of the apc campaign was actually uh, being played on the on the largest roundabout in benin city Edo state on the billboard where he was um, stashing um hiding bribe in in dollars so when he, when he was hiding bribes in his uh, babariga it's quite uh, it's quite shocking and quite surprising and we can see that um, if these guys they are not people of integrity i wonder what they want to offer what they are offering to the masses and um, i wonder what they are even telling the masses if we're going to believe because right now um they are projecting pastor osaige Izeyamu as their candidate and we know before now um, Oshomale has said so many things about um, Ize Iyamu, but um, he has taken a different turn. And Ize Iyamu has come to say that anyways, that um, Oshomale did not mean any of those words. So my people, this is it. Oh, we, are, we are just, um, as soon as the day draw, as it's getting nearer and nearer, we know we'll be getting updates. But what the main thing INEC have stated today is that um, they are going to be sticking. They would use the same um, voters register that they had, the one from 2019. That is the one they are going to be using. They are not changing it. There is no time to go and uh, start uh, um, registering people again. So that is what they are going to be using for this election. So they've stated that um, clear, very um, clear, that and they've also stated the numbers of the voters card that have been collected the numbers of voters card that have been collected so you can see INEC they are doing everything they want to do and they are, they are putting everything in place but you know I, I came across um, a comment um, recently and that comment really it has not left my mind I've just been thinking and pondering on that comment someone actually said that um, a lot of people all they do is that they are just commenting online and them um, abusing one another online but they don't even have voters card to even vote and probably the ones that even vote, have the card they are not even ready they might not even come out to vote so guys the most important thing for this Edo governorship election because you can see INEC they are stating here that uh, they are going to be using the voters um, register from 2019 that's what they are going to be using so um, be ready to vote be ready to cast your vote that's what matters because when, when we don't vote that is where this rigging and all of these things comes out from but if everyone comes out in mass to vote I believe them Edo State will get them um, what they truly deserve uh, and it's time for Edo State to move forward my people it's time for Edo State to continue to advance and be a city of delight where everyone uh, would want to to live so my people that's the news we're bringing um, INEC is expressing concern again and they've decided uh, on finally to make use of the 2019 um, 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 register for the Edo governorship election. So that's what they are using. So they are, in every step, they are carrying everyone along. And I mean, I believe this is quite commendable. I hope they don't change. I hope um, they don't um, begin to bend along the line. Let them remain transparent like this. And I believe Edo lights will be happy. So guys, leave your take, leave your comment down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.